Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like we are long overdue a house update video. We've been very busy with just like work, trying to get stuff done. So sorry, it's been a little bit slow. Um, little disclaimer, the house is not clean, it's not tidy, it's an absolute state. This is reality for us. Um, we've had people here for the last like two and a half days doing work. So it is on our list of things to do today to actually like go around and clean the house a little bit. But let me show you what has been done so far. Okay, so starting off in the hallway, this is probably the most boring bit. I can't remember if I showed you this before, but Steve um, removed all of the corner sink and all of the skirting as well. So that is all gone apart from that one bit there. Um, we have also decided in here, can you see those like really big boob spotlights? So we're gonna change those out for more modern ones. Those are like super, super dated. Um, so we've, cause they're so big, we've had to have holes drilled to kind of move the location of them a little bit for like some smaller modern ones. So we're gonna have one, two spotlights there. And then at the moment we have another weird big boob light that is gonna be removed. And as you can see, we're gonna add two more spotlights which should help brighten up this hallway a lot more. We definitely noticed a difference with our spotlights when we had them done in the kitchen and stuff. They just made a huge difference. In case anyone is interested, we've been getting all of our stuff from Electrical Direct. And these are the ones that we've been using. They're actually really, really well priced. Um, they're all like fire safe and all of that jazz and they do like next day delivery. It's just super quick, easy, hassle free. Moving into the lounge. Um, I, I think I showed you this guys before, but our flooring's arrived and our underlay for the flooring. The major thing in here is the ceiling. So um, we were gonna have this ceiling skimmed. However, it was not flat, not even close to flat. Um, they think that maybe at some point there might have been a little bit of damp and the plasterboard has just warped a little bit. They were like, it's not a big deal, but if you want a super smooth finish, we're gonna have to reboard it. So what they've done is they've run battens along this whole ceiling and they've just boarded it all. So it was important for us to not um, kind of compromise on the finish in this room because it's one of the biggest rooms and it's one of the first ones you see when you come in the house. So we were like, look, let's just board it and make sure that we get a nice smooth finish. So they've obviously re-drilled for all of the lights that are coming through. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. Getting rid of the Artex, life-changing. Looks so much like, I don't know, more modern already, even though there's like a lot more to do. I also can't remember if I showed you this radiator installed, actually. So I think I showed it to you guys when they arrived. We decided for in here and in the kitchen as well that we wanted to spend a bit more money and get these really nice big modern radiators. Originally, we had one, a one that ran all the way along there. So remove that, got this nice big radiator here. The This is like one tip actually that I got was that make sure you look at the heat output of the radiator. Um, I think this is like 7,000 BTU or something. Um, so it is so nice and toasty in here when it's like on full whack and it heats the whole room. Cause that was one thing we were a little bit worried about was whether that was gonna heat the whole room. And it does, it's absolutely perfect. You have a little snuggle. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Um, yeah, so really, really happy with the radiator. I think that's everything in here. I can't remember if I've shown you the flooring. It's very, very dirty, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Um, yeah, really happy with how this has turned out. It's just like a nice kind of blondy oak color. And then moving into the kitchen, um, still got our little makeshift kitchen set up in here. Um, it's not too bad, it's not too bad, but this room is the one that's had the most change. So I obviously showed you guys when we were like knocking the wall out and stuff. They've obviously been plastering in here, hence why it is disgustingly dirty. But the ceiling was done, when was that done? Two days ago. We've been basically avoiding going in this room. Um, yeah, so you can see that it is drying out pretty quickly actually, quicker than we thought. And they have skimmed over all of the Artex, which is nice just to get rid of the Artex, but it's also quite nice because 
it's making it feel like one room because obviously if you haven't seen the previous videos there was originally a wall basically where those chairs were the chairs are still there because there is a gas pipe coming out of the floor which was for the old hob we're getting that capped off at some point um so they still need to come back and obviously plaster the lounge and they're also just going to be plastering this bit of wall for us as well we also had so if you guys have watched the previous videos me and steve built steve and i built this stud wall together but the guys have actually added in an extra stud there because on this bit of wall we're basically having the exact same radiator put here and it weighs a freaking ton like so so heavy so they've basically measured where the brackets are on that and they've put in an extra stud across here and across the bottom there so that there's actually something solid to screw into and it won't budge so yeah this radiator here will be getting capped off and then a new one installed on this wall once that is plastered um as you can see there's a lot of green tape everywhere and that is because you guys may know our original kitchen plans were done by Ren. We decided not to go with Ren because it was just super expensive for the type of kitchen that we wanted. We are going with IKEA. It has been ordered and it's arriving in a couple of weeks. So fingers crossed we managed to get this room sorted for when the kitchen actually arrives. Um, but there are a couple of little things that we, like really small things that we had to change from the original REN plans, just little tweaks that we made. So we wanted to make sure that we kind of measured everything out, we taped it all out, we knew exactly where everything was going to go. They've obviously taken this bit of tape down just because they were working on that. But this is basically a rough guide as to where our kitchen is going to sit. So you can see this, like that grey bit in the wall is where the original wall was um so we are jutting the kitchen into the dining area a tiny bit i've said this before but we're actually going to have some sort of bench banquet seating so the dining table will always be up against that wall um and it meant that we can kind of eat into this area a little bit more so this is where our bar seating is going to go there's going to be an l shape which kind of runs here up until the window. This is all kind of going to be similar layout. Oh, I think Milo wants to go outside. Spring is definitely here. Um, <laughs> they're going out to chase birds. Um, yeah, again, sorry the mess about the mess, but this is reality. So we're actually going to bump this up to the left a little bit. So you can see right now the worktop ends directly where the door is. And we are actually gonna push it over and move all this stuff. Just a tiny bit, you can kind of see where the tape is there. We're pushing it over by about 30 centimeters. Um, yeah, just so it's not kind of encroaching on that space as much. We have also marked out, we've literally just drawn on the walls where everything's going. And we have had like first fix of electrics done basically. So there is a situation down there, which is for our hob. There's a situation up there, which is for our cooker hood. There's another one here, which is for our oven. These are all um, control switches, uh, which will be hidden in the cupboard. That is one thing that I said is that in our old kitchen, we had a big kind of grid panel. It's just a way to turn off your oven and stuff, basically. I didn't want it on show, so we've decided to hide it in that cabinet up there. That's just to make sure that it kind of meets regulations, but we're kind of doing it slightly differently just so we can get the look and feel that we want and then this here is where our sorry the dishwasher's on as well hence the noise this is where our pantry cupboard's gonna go so fridge freezer is gonna go between these lines here so this is where the switch is gonna be for the like the plug is gonna be for the fridge freezer again that's so we can like turn it off if we need to um We've got a double socket, like you'll notice there's like basically no double sockets in this kitchen. It's cause we've basically hidden them all in the cupboards. So we've got a double socket in that pantry. We've got another double socket in that pantry. We've got a single socket up there, which is specifically for our microwave because we're basically gonna have a shelf there and a shelf there, which is gonna sit all of our 
um, like coffee machine, toaster, all of that. And then we're gonna have a shelf there at eye level where our microwave's gonna sit. Um, it's just a normal microwave. It fits in the cupboard. When the microwave's on, we're gonna have to have the door of the cupboard open. It's not the end of the world, but we just wanted to hide it. Um, and then the only double socket, loads of people find this weird and I understand this is how we're doing it. And I know that it's like not normal, but this is what we've decided. This is the only double socket that is gonna be visible counter height. So we're gonna plug like our Alexa and our kettle in there probably. Um, but everything else that we would need to be plugged in will be in the cupboards anyway. So it's not that we don't have enough sockets, it's just that they are hidden. There is also currently a socket here. It's a single at the moment, we're having it switched out for a double. So there will be more sockets kind of on this side of the room as well. Um, but yeah. It's so like it's so weird that it's finally starting to kind of come together and we're seeing changes and stuff like that. And obviously we're starting to really have to commit and visualize where absolutely everything's gonna live. We also have all of our appliances as well. So all of our appliances are currently in the garage. So we've got a uh, integrated fridge freezer. There's our matte black double oven. We've got our induction hob in there. Um, dishwasher there are a couple of things that I'm still a bit undecided on um, and one of them is a sink I ordered a massive black granite sink it arrived and it's not actually black so I actually tried to return it and they just refunded me and said don't bother sending it back which I thought was so bizarre but anyway so we've got that sink I don't want to use it though um, I also ordered a black stainless steel sink, which is also not black. <laughs> Everything I'm ordering, it says it's black, it's turning up and it's basically a dark grey. So I'm kind of like struggling with finding something that's actually what it says it's going to be. Um, and I feel like the type of sink that I want is quite specific. I'll show you the stainless steel one I've got because um, it's in the guest bedroom. The other thing that we're like struggling to commit to is worktop choices as well. I feel like we're just gonna get the kitchen in <laughs> and just be worktopless for a, a while. I think we're leaning towards the kind of compact luxury laminate because I just don't think the quartz is so expensive. I love it, but I just don't think it's a viable option for us at the moment. Um, so yeah, I think we'll be going down the compact laminate route, but I'm now kind of like going back and forth on the actual finish that I want on the compact laminate, whether I want marbling in it or not. So yeah, lots of decisions to make, but I feel like there's so much going on and like having to commit to certain things like the exact location of the whole kitchen that I'm just gonna hold off on that. Like this is our kitchen at the moment. So I think I can live with no worktop for a little bit longer. Um, but anyway, let me show you the sink that we do have and I'll kind of explain why it's like a slightly different choice. Okay, so this is currently my office, which is an absolute disaster zone, basically. Um, we've kind of just been dumping stuff in here while we're doing work around the rest of the house. But this is the sink box, which has all of my home and stuff in. Okay, so here is the sink. So this sink will be sitting in a 800 mil wide unit. So this is the biggest possible sink that we can fit in. The reason I want such a ginormous sink is because I am not having um, any drainer grooves or anything like that. So the thought process is sink for washing up and then actually we are gonna get a little rack to go in this sink, which is where we'll put everything to dry. The reason being, I don't like having stuff on the side. I know that we won't dry stuff and put it away straight away. So this is just a way, like the sink is basically, as soon as you walk in the kitchen, the sink is one of the first things that you see. So I don't wanna have stuff on the side, like in our old house, it was kinda of hidden around the corner, it wasn't so bad, but I don't want people to walk in the house and immediately see all of our just stuff on the side. So this is a way of kind of dealing with our laziness, but, um, in a hidden way. But do you guys see what I mean? Like this is black stainless steel and this is not black. So this is one of our worktop options, which is very, very dusty. But 
I don't know if I'm just being super dramatic about it, but like that is just not black to me. I think it looks a little bit worse on camera. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. We are, we are gonna do an undermount, but you will obviously still see that middle bit. Um, so I'm just a bit like torn as to what to do. I feel like everything that I'm looking at and I'm ordering isn't black, even though it says it is. I love, I love, love this sink if it were actually black. I love like the square kind of bowls. It's super modern. It was an amazing price as well. So if you guys are looking for a sink like this, I got it from Wayfair. It had really good reviews and it came with literally like everything that you would need. And I think it was just over a hundred pounds, which honestly, compared to everything else I've been looking at, I I was shocked by how cheap this was. Um, so I don't know what to do really. I don't know whether I should just like stomach it, whether I won't really notice it once it's in. Like, am I being dramatic? I don't know. Cause I guess it's gonna kind of sit like that. So maybe you won't actually notice it. it is gray. I don't know. I can't make a decision on this guys. I'm so, I'm so confused. Also though, I mean, I've had this for a little while. This is also from Wayfair. We ordered our tap. It is ginormous by the way. I was shocked how big this was, but we decided to go for a pull out tap. Um, again, I got this from Wayfair, it had really good reviews and it was only 80 pounds, I think. So nice kind of mixer lever, super modern sleek design. And it has one of those kind of like pull out hose things. We did want a boiling water tap, but they're just super expensive. And like I said, this isn't our forever home. Um, but yeah, I was really, really happy with this. I thought it was an absolute bargain. And yeah, I just love that kind of swan neck style design as well. Also back here behind all of the rubbish, we also placed our first order with, I think it's pronounced Yusk. Um, yeah, I've never ever ordered with them before. I've seen lots of people rant and rave about them. I've wanted to get something for a long time. They're basically, if you don't know who they are, they're like a, what well, it says it right there, they're like a Scandinavian kind of home brand. Similar to kind of like Ikea vibes on a smaller scale. We don't have a store near us, so I did an online order. I actually ordered three of the same chair. They are outdoor chairs, but we're intending on using one of them indoor. So I'll actually build one of them in this video and we can see what the quality's like and yeah, if they're any good, cause they were actually on offer. And this is my coffee table, <laughs> which I need to upcycle. Cause as you can see, that won't be staying. So trying to be very productive with our weekend and the amazing weather it definitely feels like spring. Um, I will put in a photo of what this looked like before if I have one, but this whole, like basically this is our garden and it's like a decent size it's not i wouldn't say it's big but it's not small um but there's like this just overgrown stuff just like in the middle of this bit of lawn and i know it's each to their own but it's a lot of stuff that we wouldn't plant um so we're looking at kind of opening up this space we've already cleared so much of it um i don't know if you can see but there's like patio slabs as well and it's like uneven so we're hoping that we can kind of level that out and make it nicer lawn. We are going to be keeping this tree here, which I think is a magnolia tree. I, I've got zero knowledge of like garden and plants and stuff. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep that there. And we're thinking of doing like a, a, like a ring around it, you know, like a border, which is round that goes around the trunk. Um, we're going to keep that one there. We've already pulled up a random one, like just, how we would like our garden is a bit more maintained looking and at the moment this is kind of wild so we are just hacking <laughs> and trying to get rid of as much as possible um the boys are picking up mud and chewing it they absolutely love it like honestly you can't really see how much we've taken out but like all of that there was like absolutely overgrown and covered with just stuff so yeah oh boys are kicking off um yeah we are getting there. Also, they left this bench. Ignore the stuff on top. That's like an old gross washing line we just took down. Um, but I thought it was quite nice. We're gonna like um, power wash it and like repaint it and everything. I also kind of liked this, but as you can see, it's completely rotten. So we do need to kind of smash that down, get rid of that at some point. 
um once we've gotten most of this down plan is actually we're gonna put some moss killer on the grass it's dog friendly i got it on amazon but this there is no grass basically this is pretty much all moss it's really really bad we also bought a scarifier because that's what our tree surgeon said to get so we're gonna try and put some moss killer down hopefully that will work if not we've got a scarifier i think we might need both um yeah i don't know if you can see the difference but like over there there is a bit of grass but all, most of this is just like thick thick moss this bit's not so bad that's grass um yeah doing a good job steve Thanks. <laughs> it's hard work this um so yeah i don't know how much longer we'll be going if we do have a considerable amount gone i will check back in with you guys right things have progressed so you can't see the stuff that i've done from back here <laughs> um so steve has cut that big whatever it was down he's just trimming it down now um i've been pulling up stuff over there i'm gonna go up and show you actually guys right so these are all the massive roots and stuff i've been digging out of the ground here um there are some patio slabs under there so it's very confusing what is what you can see steve has trimmed that down now like this space is huge and it was just like covered in stuff so hopefully it should make the garden feel a lot bigger now um yeah claiming a lot more kind of usable hello Hi. a lot more usable space back up here hopefully um yeah so i think we're gonna stop there for now um and sort of have some lunch and a coffee because it is hard work guys <laughs> some of these roots are huge um and steve's been using obviously the electric saw to actually hack through that because it's an absolute beast and the boys are very interested finding finding lots of worms and stuff aren't you but the amount of brambles and spiky things in here was insane wasn't it yeah it's a lot there's still plenty more in there to be honest but yeah it's a big job but we don't need to finish it today our aim isn't to like completely clear it we just thought it's a nice day like the weather's pretty good it's sunny but it's not like hot it's, it's quite warm yeah well <laughs> we we did our last garden in the middle of summer didn't we and it was like unbearable so it's nice it's like a bit breezy and stuff out here but yeah happy with the progress so far um it's a shame that we are cutting so much down but we are going to be replacing aren't we yeah it's just not in the right place yeah it's almost like it's really and if it were along the edges i don't think we would have got rid of it but. yeah exactly but anyway it's getting there we've got to build our chairs as well so that we have some decent chairs to sit on out here right guys it's the next day we have had a nice chilled morning been out walked the dogs had a bit of a chill the garden is looking so much better it looks so much bigger out there now that we've culled loads of stuff i thought i'd be productive still this weekend and start building these chairs so like i said yesterday we ordered these from yusk i think it's yusk it's probably not i don't know um so yeah saw these chairs i actually saw them on instagram it was like a sponsored ad said that they were on offer and i think they were only like 60 quid per chair and they're actually like outdoor kind of armchairy things but we've got three because we like the style of them so much we might put one of them in the lounge depending on how nice they are um if not we'll put them all outside so i'm gonna make this now i'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done um and hopefully Hopefully it looks like it did in the photos because these definitely seem too good to be true. I know you feel like you want me And I guess in a way you do All of my breath on reveling emotions I need some space to think this through Call me on now I 
with you Right guys, I am finished with the first chair. I am so chuffed with this. Honestly, I was on the lookout for basically something that looked like a leather woven strap. Um, I saw something like this but in a bench in HomeSense ages ago and it's just been stuck in my mind since. Um, this is very much like my kind of style down to a T and I just can't believe these were so cheap. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's leather, but it's not, it's some sort of synthetic-y stuff on an aluminium frame. I just had a sit in this. It is so comfortable. I can't believe this is like an outdoor chair. Um, so yeah, it was pretty easy to put together. It didn't take that long. There was just like lots of kind of screwing and stuff. Um, so it's called the Edderup. I don't know if you can see that, it's not focusing. The Edderup lounge chair, like I said, it's actually an outdoor one. And it said it's 100% aluminium, so there shouldn't be any rust. But it even looks really good from the back as well. Which, I, sometimes when you get those like rattan ones, they can be really weird looking from the back. The only thing that's like a bit annoying is you can see this screw, but the rest of them are completely concealed underneath. So, I would never look at this and think it was an outdoor chair. It looks so, so nice. Really, really happy. And like I said, I think it was 60 quid on offer, but I think they're only normally like 80 pounds. So I'll link the one that we got in case you guys wanna go check it out. But I am so happy with how these turned out. So I'm actually gonna sign this vlog off here. Um, this coming week, stuff that's going on in the house the ceiling in the lounge is going to be plastered hopefully this will be plastered as well ceiling in the hallway should also be plastered we're having some new lights put up there um and then actually i don't know if you'll be able to see just about the kitchen ceiling is dry now so it dried super quickly in like two to three days so as soon as everything else is dry we we'll be painting, 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 painting. Um, and I feel like that is gonna be like the biggest transformation in here because we will also be painting the brick wall, which I cannot wait to do since we've moved in. I've been gagging to paint that brick. So yeah, stay tuned. Got some big updates coming soon. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and follow along with the renovation journey. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video um, and I will see you guys in the next one.